it's time for us to wake up. We can no longer sleep because we're losing the culture. This is a different kind of conference. If you came to an event wanting to see like, you know, a popular preacher or wanting to see a, a high level politician, this really isn't the right place because there's only one person who's gonna be king and that is King Jesus. This is the type of event that you come to, not just to be inspired because I believe that you're gonna be inspired, not just to be encouraged, not just to be challenged, but also to network with like-minded leaders from around the nation who we are going to do business with to honor God within our culture. You're being hustled. I tell before, like you're being scammed, you're being hoodwinked, you're being bamboozled on this race stuff. The people that are gonna be here are some of the most committed, dedicated warriors in their communities. When the subject of economic opportunity comes up, it is a very, very big deal. Um, as many of our urban environments uh, are keenly aware, whenever you have a lack of economic opportunity, it just leads to chaotic situations. Our children are having an identity crisis, I propose, because we are. Right, Satan is having his way with the school system and our children, and that has to stop. Philosophy of the school in one generation will be the philosophy of the government in the next. We see that now. Why should it be? It's an indictment against the church that in our generation, 40% of black women will never be married. The thing that I'm the most interested in is, and I see a lot of people that, that are, um, you know, you guys are seasoned, and I'm wondering how many disciples do you have? The knowledge that you guys have, we need it. We want to make a difference for God in our generation. We believe that God is calling his people to have courage. People are motivated to change when you show them victories that are possible, not injuries to be avoided. I don't know about you, but when I looked, what Jesus' commandment to us was, was to make disciples of nations, not to fill up chairs in your church. But I do believe that God is raising up men and women who are dedicated to him, who are willing to come outside of the four walls of the church to take his word as ambassadors to the nations to stand for God in this culture. And so the way that that's done is through developing a network in these areas where there's a support system, there's the legal component, there's the messaging component, and there is the relational component so that people have your back and you don't have to, to wait for that note on your door and wonder what you're gonna do. And how are we gonna talk about Christianity and Christ and leave the Bible out? No, the Word of God has brought us to where we are today, and I believe that God's Word will take us further. It's really about taking the step that's in front of you and stewarding the immediate step that's in front of you in order to kind of bring back the balance of power within those offices so that the local voices are actually the voices that are being represented. And therefore, they are living witnesses that redemption is available to everybody. God is merciful and His grace is sufficient. The Douglas Leadership Institute, we exist to empower people just like you to make a difference in your culture. We are not going to be willing participants in our own demise.